Let the sister skate forth. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. <laughs> Speak forth, but if thou lie, we will find thee. Rollerblade is the first of the five Rollerblade movies made by Donald G. Jackson and is almost indescribable. <laughs> Harlot of Hate, the Sisters of Korb will give thee a bath in holy water. Set in a unique post-apocalyptic future. And thou either skit or die. And apparently made because someone thought, Rollerblade? Switchblade? I'm a genius! <laughs> and then didn't include a single rollerblade. They're all on skates. Thou must stay inside until thou learneth skating. Now skate, boy, skate. <laughs> Don't get me started on the ye olde English dialogue. Yea, verily. Let's see how they survive without their wheels. Now, it should be noted, I don't think this is meant to be taken seriously. He did tread against my orders. Then go to the devil's playground without his skates. So, with that caveat in mind, meet Hunter. <coughs> there. A hired killer on eight wheels who is given a job by the mysterious and evil Dr. Satikoy. I have another job for you. The job is to acquire the crystal of power from a group of skating nuns. The cosmic order of Rollerblade is the only force on Earth where all weapons and battle techniques are converted into tools of love. I don't know about that, but watch this. With this blade, thou art healed so they may join our holy battle against Dr. Satakoi. They have the power of healing. This is a miracle. You can't argue with that. But, like the warrior monks of the Orient, these holy rollers can kick ass. Go in peace! Ah! Hunter goes undercover in the Order, winning the confidence of Sister Sharon. Violence is a puzzle, and love is the key and going through the initiation ritual, which is basically like the hacker on roller skates. With a dog. But then she betrays the order and steals the crystal, which is bad news. The cosmic order of rollerblade needs the crystal to mend a broken world. Some serious stakes being dropped there, but when Hunter returns to Satikoi... Okay. Here it is. Ah, the crystal is mine at last. Watch me trade. She has a change of heart and leaves. At some point, you've got to acknowledge that the skates are more of an encumbrance than a help. <sighs> Tears will cause their wheels to rust. Satikoi has also kidnapped the son of the local marshal, and now we learn something new about the bad guy. The sisters will die, your dad will die, and you, you, you will die! <laughs> Initially, I thought this was a puppet. <laughs> Obviously. But they talk at the same time, and it does seem to have a life independent of its owner. I got my ticket, I got my traveling shoes, I'm gonna boogie tonight, I'm what? So I'm guessing some sort of mutated conjoined twin, and I really can't explain any more than that. Everything's weird here. As the Marshal, Sharon and Hunter converge on Satikoi's base, the whole thing descends into chaos as the very limited cast fight each other as much as their skates allow. <laughs> Hunter is killed. Woe that it is forbidden to heal thy sister twice. We didn't mention it earlier, but that should answer any questions you have about why I don't heal her. Meanwhile, the Marshal has located his son. Son, I'll get thee down. Don't move, Chris. Don't move! Man, this would be easier if I wasn't wearing skates. Sharon attacks Satikoi. Now release the Marshal's son, or I shall take vengeance an eye for an eye. But he throws acid on her, leaving only one reasonable course of action. <laughs> yeah, I sort of feel like they wanted her semi-nude for the final fight and then just worked back from there. I pray this day that thou will be at heaven's skate. I'm in heaven right now.
although the most gratuitous moment is probably the healing hot tub earlier. We must cleanse each other's souls if we are truly to be sisters. Satikoi escapes. <laughs> Oh, how will I get past? Satikoi needed the crystal to power a rocket that he needs to cross the chasm to a weapons factory. Hey, bot! Wait for me, bot! But as he approaches the chasm... What? Look out, Sharon! <laughs> Surprisingly resilient. <laughs> Satikoi dies, but the crystal needed to save humanity has been destroyed. I now realize the power lies within. How convenient. Now, like I said, I don't think this is meant to be taken seriously, but, and I do think people get confused about this, just because a film's not meant to be taken seriously doesn't mean it can't also be bad. <laughs> Slime bucket. I don't expect a film in which a woman goes undercover in a nunnery of killer roller skaters to be an Ingmar Bergman film. I do expect it to be entertaining. Yea, verily. The pain is great for us both. The acting is dire. My wife could skate like an angel. But now she is one. It's willfully gratuitous. Oh, rip their clothes off! Her! And there's a fine line between Dutch angles and the camera falling over. Oh, what do we have here, man? Road patrol deputy with all the options. It's just bad. Go forth now and skate the path of righteousness. Thanks for watching. To see an uncensored version of this review, join us on Patreon at Acolyte Level. This is a world based around roller skating, which was a new one on me. What would you like to base your post-apocalyptic world on? Pitch us your dystopia in the comments below. Good job. Huh? What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>